In this video, we're going to be taking a look at activity 136 called I section that. And we're going to be looking at creating the whole block for number five on the activity. So first thing to start off with is I'm going to go ahead and say new component. I'm going to call this the whole block. And say OK. I'm going to create a new sketch. And off the front plane, I'm going to create a rectangle that is two inches tall by five inches wide. I'm going to go ahead and this will be fully constrained so I can finish the sketch. I can hit the extrude button and I can choose that I want to have a depth of three inches as noted by the drawing. From here, I'm going to create a sketch on the front face of the block and I'm going to set in four points. So I'm going to go into the create panel, choose point, and along the front edge of this, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click to set four points. When I do so, I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to choose a horizontal vertical constraint, and I'm going to, horizon or I'm going to horizontally constrain the first point to the second one, second to the third, third to the fourth. So they will all have to be in the same line together. And I'm going to go ahead and dimension this from the bottom edge to the first point. This needs to be one inch. And then all these will be set at one inch together. I'm going to, between the first point here and the second point, it's going to be one inch. I do need to set from the first point to the left edge of the block also needs to be point seven five from point two to point three one point two five and from point three to point four one point two five I'm going to finish the sketch set this in the home position and I'm going to run the whole command I'm going to I'm going to, have to zoom in here because these principal work planes are going to get in the way but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose the first point Looking at the hole note, this is going to be a counterboard hole. The diameter of the counterbore is going to be 0.75. Actually, this is going to be the length, so this is going to be 2 inches, the hole depth. Di counterbore diameter is 0.75. The depth of the counterbore is going to be 0.5. And then we're going to leave the 118 degrees alone. Actually, we can go ahead if we wanted to. We always set that to be a flat point, but we're going to leave that at an angle. The diameter of this is going to be at 0.5 for the rest of the hole, and I'm going to say OK. So this will provide us with the first hole. Now, in order to get the, you'll notice our sketch points disappeared. In order to get those back, I'm going to go over here to the browser, expand the whole block component, and expand the sketches folder. And I'm going to turn the visibility back on for sketch 2. I'm going to run my whole command choose the second point. I can change the second point over to a countersink, which is what's noted on the drawing. The depth of this is going to be through, so under distance I'm going to just choose all. And then for the diameter of the countersink, one inch. The, it will be at 82 degrees for the taper angle, 118 at the bottom, and then 0.5 for the through component, which is what we need. And I'm going to say OK. Run my whole command again, choose the third point, this one here is going to be just a simple hole that goes all the way through, and the diameter is 0.5. So we've already got that set. And on the drawing, they do specify a tolerance of plus or minus 0 0.002. So we're going to ignore that for right now. That will come in handy for another activity. Okay, for the fourth one, choose the fourth hole. I'm going to do a counter bore. And this one here is going to have a distance of one inch. The diameter of the counter bore is 0.375. The depth is going to be 0.25. And then the, the diameter of the bottom portion is also going to be 0.25. And I will say OK. OK, once I'm done, this will finish up the whole block. I'm going to turn off the sketch 2. And then I can go ahead and collapse the menus. And this will finish up the whole block model for activity 136.